Alex Ferrero. If it wasn't for him, we would not have put this breeding together. And he's been a mentor, and he's like my brother. And me and him, when we put our when we put our heads together, we're serious. So watch out for our productions in the future. It's, uh, this is a man right this here. This female is awesome. A good friend of mine, I'm from the Midwest, I come from Wisconsin, Okay. and a good friend of mine's out there, Alex Ferraro, he has uh, Lucky Luciano. Uh, oh. what's your, since, since I got you on here, you know, why don't you sure. give me a little rundown on how you feel about Lucky Lou and how Alex got Lucky Lou. Um, Lucky uh, Luciano is great. He's a great dog, he's one of the best Dex sons. I saw a video of him the other day when the man was throwing some ball or something and the dog took off running through water and running way down the field and getting his uh, ball, whatever it was, and running back. I mean, it, that's just a great dog, man. That's a great dog. In fact, Mike, who just left us to get more food, Mike Mesa mm -hmm. and George Aguilar, those are the two guys that uh, bred him. And then they, you know, they sold him off as puppies, real. Not real bright move, <laughs> but uh, they no one ever accused him of being smart. So, but Lucky's a great dog. I'm here right now with the current Atomic Dog Magazine mascot right here, Lucky Luciano. It's owner Alex right here, man. What's going on with you, Alex? Oh uh, man, same shit, different days. Just chilling here with Lucky Luciano. Yeah, man, he's looking really impressive, man. This is one of the hardest tries in the whole game right here. Yeah, boy, he's extra young, too. He's only 16 months old, and he's already filling his uh, father's shoes. He's walking around with quite some big shoes to fill, but right now he's starting to produce. He's packing a 24-inch head on a 15-and-a-half-inch frame. He's got 10-inch forearms, nothing but pure muscle and sheer drive. I had him out here today running laps over there in the field showing people what a, uh, a real dog's supposed to move like. This boy's got mobility and movement. That's what's up, man. I seen some of them dogs out here. They was just standing here overheating, man. This dog's out here running around, jumping. This is what they're supposed to do. This is what they're supposed to look like, and this is what you're supposed to breed for right here. Tell me, uh, who is who is his dad? His dad is grand champion Dax. His mother is uh, Short Muscle Pitts Hyphy. He's so, produced by Short uh, Mike from Short Muscle Pitts Camp in California. There's a real live Dax dog right here. Oh my, my man, Alex, man. Tell me how you came up, came uh, across getting this dog. Actually, I was just kind of dumb luck, man. I met up with Mike from Short Muscle Pits online, and we had uh, hooked up a deal, and Lou had a nice little scar on his back. That's how he got the name Lucky Luciano. We happened to match. I got the same big dumbass scar on my head from where I was hit by two cars. Since we matched, it was kind of fate. I brought him home, you know, because he was lucky from birth. But uh, I guess I was the one that got lucky. Look at him, I mean, he's beautiful. Right, right, you can't go wrong, man. Like I said, the current uh, Atomic Dog Magazine mascot. How do you go? How do you go about uh, becoming the uh, mascot for Atomic Dog? Actually, I, I was approached by uh, Herb from Atomic Dog Magazine, and he had really taken notice of how how Lucky Luciano stood out and his features, and we went from there. And you know, I'm really proud and honored to rep Atomic Dog Magazine in the Midwest because we don't have a lot of people out here in the Midwest trying to rep that magazine like that, and it's one of the highest quality magazines out there. And you know, they go above and beyond with their shows and really put together a really nice magazine so I was honored to be able to do that and have him uh, represent the magazine like that out here for the Midwest. You know, we got to represent the Midwest in a positive light 100%. For sure, for sure, man. That's what we're here for at the Bully Block. You know, we're here, our home base is the Midwest. I've always been trying to put on for the Midwest ever since keeping the Bully Magazine. And big shouts out to Atomic Dog Magazine and Herb. They're a big uh, inspiration to a lot of us out here doing, th doing the thing, man. They've been out here doing it from the beginning. Atomic Dog Magazine, Blow, Jeans, all that, man. They were the first ones to do it. So uh, big shouts out to them. And uh, big shout out to you, Kev. Real talk. This man just put on one hell of a show. It was an honor to come out here. We drove all the way up from Peoria to Michigan. Had a, a real good time. Got a lot of love for Lou. It's overall good fun, good people, good environment. I recommend coming to any one of Kev's shows, man. Make sure y'all check him out on Bully Black. This man's serious. That's what it is, man. Once again, man, I appreciate you coming out, man. I know you've been up, man. I know you're going to be ready for tonight to uh, get uh, rest up for the oh. drive home. Oh, actually, we're just going to drive straight through. Okay, you know how man. we get it. We come get it and go home. That's what it is, man. I got that kennel life. That's what's <laughs> up, man. Big shouts out to you. Big shouts out to kennel life, man. Hector Rodriguez out there, lay low. You already know what it is. We're out here, Lucky Luciano right here outside the Michigan Bully Showcase. I'm back right after this. Let you know, I bully, do you? <laughs> Next
stay there.